Namaste. Welcome. So glad to have you. Um, we'll get started and people will trickle in as we go. Let's actually start at the front of our mats in the forward fold, Uttanasana. So you can keep your knees in a royal bend. So you can let your torso flatten out onto the thighs. Head is heavy. Crown of the head is dripping down. You can let your hands rest by your feet. And taking a moment to land the attention on the breath, feel free to gently shake the head yes, no, making sure there's no tension in the neck. And then slowly sending some weight into the balls of your feet as you slowly work towards lengthening through the legs. But no force here, this should just feel like a full relaxation, relaxing over the legs. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Let's take that twice more. Deep inhale through the nose. And then sigh out through the mouth. One more round. Inhale through the nose, send it to the back of the heart space. Lower rib cage, even lower back. And then exhaling out through the mouth. And on an inhale, slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra, rising up into your Tadasana. Rolling the shoulders down the spine and open up the eyes. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. And then on an inhale, circle the arms up, bend the knees, take Utkatasana, have a seat. It's super early, so might not be your deepest Utkatasana. Just so you can really let the thighs grow heavy. Exhale, circle the hands down and back, interlace the fingers, remember which thumb is on top. And then exhale, melt the torso onto the thighs, lengthening through the legs, letting the arms drip over your head, gentle shoulder opener. Feel free to spin the sit bones to the sky as you shift the weight yet again into the balls of your feet to get that gorgeous stretch in the backs of your legs. Gently release the bind, take the hands down, take a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms up, bend the knees, Utkatasana, number two. Take your seat, maybe spin the pinky fingers in for a little bit of a shoulder opener. And then exhale, circle the hands down and back, interlace the fingers, opposite thumb on top. Inhale here, pull the hands back. Exhale, lengthen the torso onto the thighs, lengthen the legs, bowing forward. Head is heavy, dripping down. Take a moment here, breathing into the shoulders. You can let gravity work for you as the hands drip down. Awesome. Gently let go of the bind, hands down. Inhale, flat back, reset the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. Inhale, circle the arms up, grab your right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, find length here, and exhale, dip to your left while you're pressing to your right foot, sideways stretch. You can let your left ear rest on your left bicep. Take another pulse, inhale, length. Exhale in more depth as you ground through the pinky side edge of that right foot. One more time, inhale length, exhale depth. Use your inhale to come back up to center, switch sides, right wrist to left wrist. Sorry, left, right hand to left wrist. Inhale, find length, press into the left foot as you dip to your right. Feel free to let the right ear rest on the right bicep. Two more pulses, inhale, find that length. Exhale, side waist opening. One more pulse, inhale length. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back up to center, Urdhva Hastasana. Come high into the tippy toes, knit the ribs in. Exhale, dip the torso forward as you sweep your arms forward and back, taking diver's pose. The higher you come to the balls of the feet, the easier this is. You can reach your fingertips to the ceiling. Stay high, 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 coil on the core. Exhale, heels down, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the left foot back, low runner's lunge. Come on to fingers or fists. 
Inhale, shine your heart forward, pull the shoulder blades back, peel that left heel to the back of your space, and exhale, lengthen through the right leg, modified pyramid pose. Twice more, inhale, bend the right knee, look forward, open behind the collarbones, exhale, peel it back, lengthen through the right leg, or keep a slight bend. One more time, radiate the chest forward, and then exhale, bowing in as you peel the hips back. Nice. From here, step your left foot about a foot closer, 45 degree angle with the foot for your full pyramid pose, Parvottanasana. Come with tented fingers or fists to find a long spine here. You can take your right thumb into your inner hip crease if you like to pull that hip back. Own hands on adjustment. Find a long spine. Inhale, exhale, bowing forward over that right leg. Feel free to keep a gentle bend in that right knee if you need to. Inhale, root through the feet, take the hands onto the hips, come all the way up, rising up. And on an inhale, reach the arms forward, palms facing up. And exhale, circle the hands back towards the back. And either wrap opposite elbows, or perhaps you can take reverse prayer, maybe a little bit early, but take your time to get there and to work the pinkies in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, take a little bit of a Back bend here, don't force, just shine your heart to the sky. And then exhale, bowing forward over that right shin. Feel free to take a little bit of a pulse here. Inhale to create more space. Exhale, bowing in. Nice. And then gently release the hands down, frame the front foot. Bend the right knee so you can step the left foot back, low runner's lunge. Inhale, send the right leg to the sky. Down dog split. Take a moment to settle here in the down dog split. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And then on the next exhale, take the right knee into the right armpit or elbow. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, re extend the leg out. Down dog split. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, fall on triangle or keep the leg lifted as you reach up with the left arm. Strong in the right side waist, breathe. Exhale, right hand down, right leg to the sky, down dog split. And then joining both feet together, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, ripple forward into plank, shoulders over the wrists, exhale. Knees, chest and chin, Ashtangasana. Take a moment, touch the back of your skull with your tailbone. Inhale, untuck the toes, slide forward onto your belly, Bhujangasana. Exhale, pulling back, downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. On the next inhale, let the left leg rise, reach through the toes, and exhale, step the left foot forward in between the hands, low runners lunge. Release the right knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, circle the arms up. Interlace the last three fingers, find your Kali Mudra. Find the lift out of the lower body. As you drive that left shin forward, press into the top of that back foot. Inhale, space. You can find long arms, straight arms. Exhale, release the hands down, frame the front foot. Heel to the left foot to the left. Place the left hand on the inside of that left foot. Supported low lizard. You can stay here or early Radha Krishna. Circle that left arm back for the tail grab. You can bend that right knee. Hold on to the pinky side edge of that foot. And slowly pulsate. Using your exhales to peel that right heel closer into the seat. Roll that left shoulder back. Heart shines to the sky. Jaw is relaxed. And try not to really dump into that right wrist. Use your right side waist, engaging it. Exhale, release that back foot down. Heel to the left foot back. Underneath you, tuck the right toes. Lengthen through the leg, lower runner's lunge. And exhale, step that right foot forward. Forward fold to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. 
Inhale, circle the arms up, knit the ribs in, anchor the tailbone down. Exhale, take it to down, palms to ground, face the shins. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, giant step back with the right foot, low runner's lunge, come on tended fingers or fists. Inhale, shine your heart forward again, open up behind the collarbones. Exhale, peel the hips back, bowing in. Twice more, inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Let the shoulder blades roll down the spine. Exhale, peel the hips back, lengthening through the left leg. One more round, inhale, bend the knee, look forward. And exhale, peeling it back, modified pyramid pose. Now gently soften that left knee so you can step the right foot about a footprint in, anchor through the heel. And then lengthen back through the left leg. Inhale, find a long, flat spine. Feel free to take the left thumb into the inner hip crease of the left leg. So you can gently push that left hip back. Right hip bone comes forward. Exhale, find a forward fold, Parshvottanasana. Again, feel free to keep a gentle bend in that left knee. Inhale, really root through the feet. Take the hands to your hips. Come all the way up. Next, inhale, send the arms forward, reach the fingertips, palms facing up. Exhale, circle the hands to the side and back. Again, grab opposite elbows or take your reverse prayer. Take your time to find your hand placement. Inhale, tiny back bend, heart shines to the sky. Exhale, bowing forward. If the bind is too much, feel free to release it. Soften in the jaw, in the forehead. One more breath here. On the next inhale, release the hands down, frame the front foot. Bend the left knee so you can step that right foot back, low runner's lunge. Inhale, send the left leg to the sky, down dog split. Hold it there for a moment. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Catch an inhale. On the next exhale, left knee to left elbow or armpit, shift the weight forward. On the next inhale, re-extend the left leg out, down dog split. Exhale, take the left knee to the right elbow, keep extending it left out or keep the leg afloat, reaching up for your either floating fallen triangle or regular. Nice. Exhale, right hand down, inhale, left leg to the sky, down dog split. Exhale, join both feet together, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, ripple forward into plank, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, chaturanga, shave your ribcage. Inhale, rise up, upward facing dog, rolling onto the tops of the feet. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog, come back to your breath. Where's your ujjayi? Soft jaw, soft forehead. Inhale, let the right leg rise, reach for the toes. Exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands. Lower into the left knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, circle the arms up, interlacing the last three fingers, putting your Kali Mudra in Anjaniyasana. So I have a tendency to throw my lower back out, so no pinching in the low back. Can you find a lift first? And then a little bit of an arc, shining your sternum to the sky. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands, frame the front foot. Heel to the right foot to the right, right hand on the inside of the right foot. Keep hugging that right knee in for your supported low lizard, finding a little bit of cow spine here, heart shines forward. Stay here, breathe into the hip opener, or take the tail grab, circling that right arm back, bending the left knee. Holding onto the pinky side edge of that foot. It's early, so gently pulse into the opening of that trailing leg. Spin that right shoulder back. Notice if you're collapsing in the low belly, continue to engage the core just to support the low back. Nice. One more breath. Gently let go of that foot. And then heel toe the right foot back underneath you. Tuck the left toes, lengthen through the left leg, low runner's lunge. Exhale, step the left foot forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. Let's keep it flowing. Inhale, circle arms up, trace the sun. Exhale, diving it down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, lift. Exhale, yogi's choice. You can step back into plank, lower into chaturanga, or hop back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, rolling onto the tops of the feet. Take your time. Enjoy that chest opener. Soften in the glutes. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Let's take five breaths here. Moving meditation, Surya A. Let the head drip down. You can almost aggressively crawl the fingertips into the mat while you send the front of the mat away from you. Spinning the sit bones away from each other towards the corner edge of your space, of the ceiling that is. And then using each exhale to slowly send the chest closer to the shins, crown of the head closer to the mat. Always stay with that ujjayi breath. Nice. Awesome. On the next inhale, big toes touch, feet slightly forward. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, squat back. Bottom of your exhale, step hop or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift it as you land. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tadasana. Inhale, let's keep it flowing. Reach up. Exhale, take it down. Face the shins, palms to ground. Inhale, lift it. Prepare the spine. Exhale, your journey back. If you're hopping back, send the legs as much back as you shoot the chest forward. Inhale, up dog. Rising up. Soften the glutes. And then exhale, pull back into your downward facing dog. Breathe. Each of these rounds will feel like we're easing into the pose a little bit more with each round. And then perhaps you want to explore with lengthening a little bit more through the legs. But please don't lock out the knees. Because if we lock out the knees, we lock out the entire pelvis, which also means we'll lock out any movement in the spine. So just a gentle micro bend. Nice. Let's take another breath. Awesome. On the next inhale, big toes touch, feet slightly forward, come high into the tippy toes, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, squat back, look forward, lock in your drishti. Bottom of the exhale, step hop or float. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tadasana. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, diving it down. Round three, face the shins. Inhale, come halfway up. Lift, prepare the spine. Your journey back, slowly stepping back into plank, lowering to chaturanga, or take your hop back. Inhale, up dog. So if you're rising out of water, coming up. And then exhale, pulling back, downward facing dog. You're more than welcome to stay in your down dog for a few breaths, or you can take a child's pose. Well, let's have a look at some L-shaped hops. Play time, no expectations. Stepping the feet a little bit closer, big toes touch. Inhale, let the left leg rise, reach for the toes and the shoulders over the wrists, look in between the thumbs. Keeping the arms straight, you can bend and lengthen that right leg, never leaving the ground or at the bottom of your exhale. Have a look at the L-shaped hop. So you can land nice and lightly. Keeping the arms straight, gripping the fingertips into the mat. No expectations, just some play time. Give another go. And then stepping the feet forward. Forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, halfway up, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. One more round. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, diving it down. Inhale, prepare halfway up. Exhale, again, your journey back. Flow mindfully through the vinyasa. Always with the breath, never holding. Exhale, pulling back, downward facing dog. Okay, happy hopping on the right. So good to get over any fear of inversions coming upside down, just keeping it playful. Big toes touch, feet slightly forward. Inhale, right leg rises. Reach through the toes, come high into the tippy toes of that left foot. Look in between the thumbs. You can bend and lengthen that left leg, never leaving the ground. Or have a look at some playtime. Coming up in an L shape, really keeping the arms straight. And then working on landing lightly. Is that really built strength? As to not to collapse back down. Give another go. And then stepping the feet forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, double tap, halfway up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. And from here, step your feet about as wide as the mat, and then lower into Malasana, Yogi Squat. Have a seat, feel free to close the eyes. Take a moment to let that entire pelvic bowl melt down to the ground. Where you find length in the spine. I like this visualization of the hood of a cobra at the back of my skull. You're really extending that to the ceiling in this pose. So you find a super long spine all the way from the nape of the neck to the sacrum. Soften the jaw, soften the forehead. Nice, I'll take another breath or two. So you can really peel the knees back over the big toes, trying not to let them collapse inward. Awesome, exhale, hands down, turn the toes in. Finding your forward fold, you can grab opposite elbows, swaying side to side. Nice. Now from here, you can take a vinyasa back or have a look at crow pose, bakasana, or meet us in downward facing dog, or balasana, child's pose. Feet underneath the hips, go high into the tippy toes, bend the knees about a 45 degree angle outward. Now you can slide the hands back towards you, scoop your kneecaps with your armpits, or if you've been in bakasana many times, you might want to try to place the knees right over the elbows and then shift the weight into the fingertips shine your heart forward as you peel the heels into your seat continue to look forward to try to lengthen through the elbows core 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 fingertips 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 one more breath and then slowly you can take a vinyasa or meet us in down dog or child's pose, yogi's choice. Take your time to meet us. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. You can lower onto your shins. Have a seat in Vajrasana or child's pose. Knees nice and wide, walking the hands forward. Taking a moment if you're sitting upright, Feel free to keep the eyes closed or have a sip of water, towel off. Letting that go, come back onto the mat. If you briefly drifted, 50% of the work is just showing up. So really showing up on the mat. Awesome. So even though these resting poses are a place of very rest, Great place to reflect, and we are still practicing yoga, staying with the breath, staying.
practicing that concentrated internal drishti. Okay, let's keep it flowing. Inhale, come on to palms, into your tabletop. Exhale, press back into your downward facing dog. Nice, and gently pedal out the feet. Gently shake the head, yes, no. Checking in yet again with downward facing dog. Your journey to the front of the mat, big toes touch, feet slightly forward, shoulders over the wrist. You can squat back, step, hop, or float. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, have a seat. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right, Parvita Utkatasana. Take a moment to find your head placement, rolling that right shoulder back. Perhaps speaking down, can you bring that left knee back in alignment with the right knee and the pop forward? Now really roll that right shoulder back. Stay here for a few breaths or take the hands to your right. Have a look at side crow, pop onto the balls of your feet. I'll come to face you. You can line your hands up, fingertips facing away from you to the front of the mat. If you use one tricep, or you can teeter the weight forward. Take your side crow, look to your side. You can also take kundanyasana, one point through the toes, weight shifts into the fingertips, out of the wrists. Exhale, feet come down, take your forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, lift. Exhale, again, your journey back, step, hop, or float. Take your vinyasa, up dog, rising up. Try not to collapse into the pinky side edges of your hands. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, let the right leg rise. Reach through the toes. Exhale, coil the knee into the chest and step the foot forward in between the hands. Anchor your left heel down about a 45 degree angle with that foot. Inhale, rise up into your warrior one. Take your seat. I have the tendency to splay my rib cage out here so you can really knit the ribs in while you drive that right shin forward. So you can send the entire left side waist to the front of your mat. Exhale, circle the hands down, interlace the fingers. Inhale, pull the hands down the back, open up the heart. Exhale, bowing down, forward fold. Humble warrior, devotional warrior. Now here too, my weak spot is collapsing in that back ankle. So I really have to anchor into the pinky side edges of that foot. As I drive the right shin forward, keep that right hip parallel to the long edge of the mat. One more breath. Gently look forward, lengthen a little bit through the right leg. So you can keep the bind as you pivot on the ball of that back foot and shift your weight into your right foot. So you can come up into your bound warrior three. Feel free to release the bind, take the hands at heart center or by your side, or we take the bind once you're up. Really pull the hands back as you send that left heel back. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands down, join the left foot forward. Forward fold, Uttanasana. On the inhale, come up to rise. You can bring your right leg with you as you rise up and hug that right knee into your chest. Now you can take tree pose, take the sole of the right foot into the left thigh, strong drishti, single point of focus. You can stay here, hands at heart center, or send your arms to the sky. Or if you want to take this a little bit further, hug the right knee back into the chest. Take yogi toe lock, first two fingers of the right hand to the right big toe, left hand onto your hip. You can stay here. We're slowly send that right heel forward. Utita hasta parangustasana A. Roll that right shoulder back. Superhero in your heart. Knit the ribs into themselves as you soften the glutes. From here, you can extend your left arm to the left and swing that right leg out to the side like a swinging door for your Utita B. 
Take a moment to fight for it. Don't let the mind wander. Stay with the breath. Awesome. Last variation. Hug the right knee into the chest. And then if you like, you can take the left hand to the pinky side edge of the right foot. Reach the right hand back fiercely as you send the left heel forward. If you're still in tree pose, you can take your right hand to the inner hip crease of, sorry, the left hand to the inner hip crease of the right leg. Then turn to your right. Otherwise, stay here, find your drishti. Single point of focus. Awesome. Gently hug the left, sorry, right knee back into the chest. Give it a squeeze. And then see if you can send that right leg back. Reach back with your right hand. If you have to tap the foot down, that is fine. Hold on to the big toe side of that foot. Inhale, extend the left arm up. Stay here. This is perfect. Kissing the knees together or shift your weight forward as you press that right foot into the right hand and vice versa, pull the right foot back with the right hand. Keep that right hip internally rotated, fight for it, opposite of dynamics here. One more breath, Natarajasana. And exhale, joining both feet together, Tadasana, take a deep inhale here. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, diving it down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step that left foot all the way back, low runner's lunge. And step it about a footprint in yet again, setting yourself up for that pyramid pose, Parj Uttanasana. Inhale, take the hands onto your hips, come all the way up. Reach up with the left arm. Get really long side waist opening here. Exhale, take a flat back. One line of energy, crown of the head, hips. Inhale, find more space as you reach forward. Exhale, take the left hand on the inside, on the outside of the right foot as you free the top arm to the ceiling, finding your revolved triangle pose, your Parvita Trikonasana. Feel free to place the top hand onto your sacrum. See if you can let that left hip rise a little bit as you pull the left right hip underneath you to really get deep into that twist. Make it come from the thoracic, not from that bottom hand. Awesome. One more breath. Exhale, right hand down in the front foot. Then step the left foot back, low runner's lunge, anchor through the heel, 90 degree angle. Inhale, come up into your warrior two, take a seat. On the next inhale, flip the front palm, reach forward, reach back, take your reverse warrior. Take the left hand on the inner hip crease of the right thigh so you can stay committed to the lunge. And exhale, take the right hand on the inside of that right foot, keeping the half bind. Or perhaps you want to take the full bind. Take your time, feel free to bow in first, and then roll in that left shoulder back. Keep driving that right shin forward, and then keep really pushing that left pinky side edge of the foot into the mat. Keep, release the bind as you lengthen through the right leg on an inhale for your trikonasana, bound or regular. Nice. Stay with the breath. Roll that left shoulder back. Anchor the tailbone to the trailing heel. Now, if you still have the bind, bend the right knee. Turn the right toes in towards the left. And then step that left foot underneath you. From here, if you lost the bind, you can retake the bind by taking the right hand underneath that right hip. And wrapping the left arm around you and then taking the clasp. You can stay here, try to lengthen through both legs, or perhaps if you want to look at Bird of Paradise, come into the ball of the right foot, look forward on an inhale, and then just roll that right shoulder back, finding length, superhero in your heart. Where's your drishti? Where did your breath go? Find those, and so you can slowly lengthen through the right leg, if you like, 
Cherry on top, soft jaw, strong focus. One more breath. And then slowly releasing that right foot down. Don't rush. Release the hands down. Step back into a low runner's lunge. In front of your mat, right foot forward, left foot back. And let's just turn to your left, turn the right toes in for a wide forward fold. Inhale, take your halfway up, lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can stay here, relax in your prasarita parotonasana. Or if you have a headstand practice and like to come up and it's not too much fire for you, you can slowly unilateral triangle with the hands and head come high into the tippy toes. Let the legs float, coming upside down, keeping your ujjayi nice and steady. Equal inhale, equal exhale. Nice. Take one more breath. If you're upside down, on inhale, V out the legs. If you're upside down, flex the feet. Slowly come down, lunar landing. Inhale, come halfway up, flat back. Exhale, turn over your right leg, low runner's lunge. Inhale, sweep the right leg into the sky, down dog split. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Stay here or take a rock star. Let the foot drift behind you. Open up the front of the body. Right arm reaches overhead. You can look at your right fingertips. Hips and heart rise. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Down dog split. Exhale, join both feet together. Inhale, take your vinyasa. Rippling forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, take your time. Exhale, peel it back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Awesome, Got one more side to go. Yogi's choice to the front of your mat, big toes touch. Inhale, send the shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, squat back, step hop or float. Inhale, lift it halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. Inhale, circle the arms up, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Last one, chair pose, fierce pose. So the thighs go heavy. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your left. Take your time, no forcing, just easing into the twist. You should feel fluid. While your jaw is soft, space between the eyebrows is soft. Always feel free to check in what's happening now with the right knee. Can you level everything out? Maybe lower your seat a little bit deeper. Now you can stay here, which is quite challenging for a few breaths, or take your hands down to your left. Again, they'll come to face you. Come high into the balls of the feet. You can line up to triceps with the long edge of your left thigh, or you can spin the fingertips forward and only use that right arm to come up. I'm using double triceps. Come high into the balls of the feet. And taking your side crow, Parjra Bakasana, weight into the fingertips. Look to your side. Stay here or take Kunanyasana one. If you want to come out of the twisted chair at this point, feel free to take a forward fold. Exhale, feet down. Let's all meet. In forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, your journey back. Step hop or float. Up dog, rising up, open heart. Exhale, peel it back, downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. On the next inhale, let your right leg float, reach through the toes. Sorry, put that back, let's put that back. Let's take the left leg, inhale, left leg rises, reach through the toes. 
long leg. Exhale, left foot steps forward in between the hands. Then anchor through your back foot, about a 45 degree angle, setting yourself up for Vira One as you rise up into your warrior one. Now you can also separate the heels a little bit to create space for the hips to kind of seek out that sensation of squaring off the hips. And then notice if you're really holding the shoulders up, can you melt them down the back? Exhale, circle the hands down, interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, pull the hands back, open heart to the sky. Exhale, bowing forward, humble warrior, devotional warrior. Breathe into that left hip. Notice if you're coming out of that left leg, can you challenge yourself? Drive that left chin forward. Nice. Maybe peek to your left, to your left seat, swinging out to the left. Can you pull the left hip under? I like to imagine a string between my left sit bone and my right heel to keep me parallel. Nice. One more breath. On the inhale, look forward. Come out of that left leg a little bit so you can spin on the ball of your right foot so you can keep the bind if you can. Send the weight into that left foot, strong in the core, and rise up, lengthening through the left leg into your bound warrior three. Turn the toes down, find that lift. Feel free to take the hands and heart center or by your side. Don't let the hands rest on the seat. Pull them back. Nice. One more breath. Exhale, release the body if you had it. Hands down, foot down. Forward fold at the front of your mat. As you inhale and rise up, so you can bring that left leg with you, hugging the knee and the chest, and rise up. Now you can take tree pose. Left foot into the inner right thigh or right calf. You can take your hands to heart center, or perhaps once your drishti is settled, you can extend the arms out to the sky, knit the ribs in fire while you find that lift. Or perhaps you can take the yogi toe lock, first two fingers of the left hand to the left big toe, take your right hand onto your hip, stay here, or extend that left heel forward, Finding length here, feel free to keep that knee bent if you need to. Try not to round in the spine. Stay with the breath, with the drishti. Don't lock out that standing leg. Nice. You can extend the right arm out to the right to swing the left leg out, counterbalance for your utita B. You can also take the right hand onto your hip, look over your right shoulder. It's a little bit more tricky, more challenging. Nice, one more breath. And then slowly hug that left knee back into the chest. If you need to tap the foot down, that is totally fine. Otherwise, take the right hand to the pinky side edge of the right, sorry, left foot. Reach back with that left hand and send the left heel forward for your chitta. Hasta para Gustasana C. I'm keeping my knee bent a little bit so I don't round in the spine. If you're still in tree pose, you can take your left arm around the back and you can take your right knee, sorry, right hand to the left knee. Look to your left for the twist. One more breath. Awesome. Exhale, hug the left knee back into the chest. Feel free again to tap the foot down if you need to. Then send that left foot back, reach back with the left hand, hold onto the inside of the left foot, big toe side. Kiss the knees, reach up with the right arm, long side waist. Exhale, take your dancer's pose, take your time, reach forward as you send that left foot back. Keep spinning that left hip in towards the ground. Don't let it externally rotate. Stay with the breath, reach forward, push back. One more breath. And then exhale, slowly coming out of it. Find your Tadasana, hands by your side. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. 
Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, diving it down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, giant step back with the right foot. Low runner's lunge. You can step the right foot about a footprint in, finding your pyramid pose, Parshvottanasana. Hands to hips, press into the feet, come all the way up. Reach up with the right arm, reach for the ceiling, lengthen through the right side waist. Exhale, take a flat back, reach forward. Inhale, find more length in the spine as you send the crown of the head and the tailbone away from each other. And then exhale, right hand on the inside or out of the left foot as you free the top arm to the ceiling for your revolved triangle pose. Again, feel free to use that top hand to help level out the hips. In this case, the right hip will have to come up a little bit, perhaps, as you roll the left hip under and then really reach through the left fingertips. Try not to collapse too much in that right hand. We'll rely too much on it to hold you up. Awesome. One more breath. Exhale, left hand down, frame the front foot. Bend the left knee, step the right foot back, low runner's lunge, anchor through the right heel, 90 degree angle. And the inhale, rise up, warrior two. Taking your seat. Flip the front palm, reach forward, reach back, reverse warrior. Take your right hand into the inner hip crease of the left leg. Make sure you stay committed to that lunge. And exhale, left hand on the inside of that left foot, finding the half bind. You can also take the forearm to thigh. Sorry, I should have said that on the first side. Nice, you can stay here in the half bind or first krama, or take the full bind, bowing in, and then rolling it back. Drive that left chin forward, soft jaw, soft forehead. Nice, tons of power in that back foot. Let's give you one more breath. Keep or release the bind as you lengthen through the left leg for your triangle pose. No sharp pains in the left hamstring, please. So release the bind if it's too much. Or keep a gentle bend in that left knee in order to slowly ease into the pose. Nice. Let's spin the left toes in as you slowly soften that left knee and then step the right foot underneath you, setting yourself up for bird of paradise. You can stay here if you had let go of the bind and take the bind now by wrapping the left arm under, right arm over the back. Stay here slowly lengthening through both legs, bones to the sky, or perhaps come into the ball of the left foot Look forward, keep a slight micro bend in the right knee, and then roll that left shoulder back, come up to rise into your bird of paradise. So find that long spine, roll the shoulder blades back, soften the glutes so you can anchor the tailbone. Stay here or slowly lengthen through the left leg. Reach for the toes, big shoulder opener as well. Fight for it. Drishti and breath, radiating in all directions. Give it one more go. And then exhale, slowly let that left foot come back. Take your time, release the bind. Frame the left foot to just step the right foot back into your low runner's lunge. Anchor through the palms, inhale, left leg rises. Down dog split, exhale, take a rock star. Drip the foot behind you, open up, left arm rises overhead, look at your fingertips. Huge expansion across the front of the body. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, left leg to the sky, down dog split. Exhale, drawing both feet together, downward facing dog. Inhale, we're going forward, chaturanga, take your time, up dog. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Nice. On the inhale, slowly ripple forward into plank, lower into the shins. Let's have a seat. 
Let's take Agni Stambhasana, double pigeon. You can line up your left chin, the longer short edge of your mat. And then stack the right leg on top, right ankle on left knee, right knee onto the left ankle. I always have to walk my sit bones back a little bit. So when you look down, you'll see a triangle. Feel free to place anything underneath that right knee, pillow, stuffed animal, block. This is an intense one. Inhale, find a long spine, stay upright. We're slowly walking our hands forward. You can also rest your forearms onto that right shin, palms facing up. Or perhaps walking all the way forward. I really love that wave like sensation. Inhale, length, exhale, depth. And then inhale, create space. And exhale, go deeper. Breathe, feel free to close the eyes or sigh out through the mouth. So double pigeon in many ways can be actually a lot more intense and regular. So notice, check in with your usual suspects if you tend to clench your jaw or frown your forehead or altogether hold your breath. Let's take another two breaths here. You feel that take another inchworm forward and then bowing in. Sending the breath here to back of the heart space, lower rib cage, even all the way towards the sacrum. Awesome. On the next inhale, slowly walk your hands back towards you. Nothing fancy, just switching sides, left leg on top of the right, left leg comes into the right ankle, and knee, left knee on top of the right ankle. Stay nice and tall, or find that length, and then take it down, finding your forward fold. So with these forward folds, there's a tendency to pinch in the lower back, that's why you find that length first, lengthening out of the lower back, so that there's more space to forward fold. So don't feel like you should rush. You can really take your time to inchworm your way into these forward folds. No pinching in the low back. And feel free to do a brief body scan. We tend to work too hard, hold ourselves up. And that creates a lot of tension. So you want to check in with your glutes. Can you release the glutes? Feet in the outer thighs, so connect to your outer hips, low back. If I struggle with releasing in my pigeon, I bring my attention to my low back and try to actively release there. And that usually drips into release of my hips, glutes. Let's take another two breaths here. Folding forward. Restoring our parasympathetic nervous system, so healing. Getting some R&R &R in these forward folds. Inhale slowly, walking your hands back. Take your time. And let's take Ufa Vishta Kanasana, last forward fold, legs nice and wide. Should feel good to lengthen through the legs. Flex the feet or point the toes. I prefer to flex them so really engage entire legs, find a long, flat spine. So, sorry, long spine. And then let's see if you can find a flat spine as we forward fold. Take your time, same idea as with your double pigeon. For me, many of my student friends, they really find it's a different sensation to use that ripple wave-like sensation. But if you've been here many times, you may be able just to dive straight onto the floor in your practice. Nice. Let's take another two or three breaths here. So you can spin your sit bone to the back of your space while you really flex the feet, toes to the ceiling. Don't create any tension in the shoulders. You can soften them down your back. And, you know, usual suspect, jaw, forehead, face is soft. Let's take another breath. Feel free to sigh out through the mouth. And 
And inhale, slowly walk your hands in, take your time, hold on to the backs of your legs if you like to find yourself back on the center of your mat. And then hold on to the knees to see spine your way down. And then to wrap it up, take the feet onto the mat, walk the heels in a little bit closer to your seat. Place the hands by your side, lift the hips to the ceiling by pressing into the big toe mount of the feet. You can interlace the hands underneath you, walk the shoulder blades in for your bridge pose, say to Dandasana. Try not to let the knees flay out, really internally rotate the thighs by pressing into the big toe mounts. Stay here if you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can take the hands by your ears, fingertips towards the feet. And rise up into your wheel or Vada Nirasana. You can come onto the crown of your head first, or lengthen straight away to try and set the chest in between the elbows to the front of your space. Lengthen through the arms. Same idea. Press into the big toe mount of your feet. Find the back bend behind the heart, not in the lower back. No pinching whatsoever. Take another breath. And then exhale, slowly chin to the chest, lowering down, take your time. And then let's windshield wiper the legs first, side to side, easing into the low back again. And then take a happy baby, bending the knees, holding on to the outer edges of the feet. Awesome. And then gently, Place the soles of the feet onto the mat. Bring the soles to touch. Let the knees fall wide open. One hand onto your heart. One hand onto your belly. Closing the eyes. Supta Baddha Konasana. Taking a moment so you can slowly let go of your ujjayi breath. You notice the belly rise and fall. You're more than welcome to stay in your Supta Baddha Konasana for your Shavasana. Just a heads up, when you come out, you've been in a quite prolonged hip opener, so really take your time to come out. Or extend the legs all the way to the very ends of your mat, letting the feet turn out. If you keep one hand at your heart, one on your belly, or both hands by your side, palms facing up, slowly, slightly walk the shoulder blades in. And just taking a minute or two to come to this final pose for which we practice this full hour, final resting pose of Shavasana, where we harvest all that we cultivated in our practice. Breath is barely there, barely noticeable. If you can soften that space in between the shoulder blades, really let that melt, release into the mat. Low back softens, releases into the low back. Releases into the mat. <laughs> and then the toes are relaxed, feet are turned out. All 10 fingertips are relaxed. Shoulders are releasing down to the mat. Back of the skull is soft. The space between the eyebrows is soft. Cheeks are relaxed, lips are relaxed. Tongue is soft in the mouth. I like to always finish my Shavasana with this idea of a glowing bright white or golden light in the throat center. And then you just let that drip into the heart center. Let it radiate in all directions. To the side waist, back of the heart. And with the next inhale that comes around, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Gently put some life back into your fingertips and toes. Take any stretches if stretches are needed. Especially if you're coming out of Sukta Baddha Konasana, take your time slowly to hug the knees into the chest. 
can either roll onto your right side or come up to have a seat. Keeping the eyes closed for one more moment. I always like to finish taking my hands in prayer, bowing to your inner teacher, your inner guru, the most important one of all. And then feel free to join me in a closing om if you like, or just enjoy the vibrations. Deep inhale through the nose. Oh. Take your thumbs to your third eye. Be great to the inner light in me. Recognize this and honor the inner light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. Let me know if any questions.